when you get on the train, you never know what you're going to see. The New York subway system is just always full of just unpredictability. Any given moment, something could happen on that train. One of the elements that I look for in creating images are reflections of love, joy, and family. Because when I grew up in South Brooklyn, I saw that on the regular. And as time went on, it started to, to, to be absent. The 1960s and 1970s, we had an heroin epidemic. Then later on, we had the, the AIDS epidemic, the crack epidemic. You know, it was a lot of destruction, mass incarceration. So a lot of the images I was seeing on the nightly news, they weren't favorable images. I had to work with great zeal to get out there and, and, and use my camera as a weapon to combat a lot of that negativity. I was greatly inspired by W.E.D. Du Bois and his Negro exhibition in the 1900s and the whole idea of showing black Americans in a dignified way to a larger world to create a counter narrative to negative imagery that we were seeing. It was something magical about the subway. You might st step into a train station, and as you're waiting for the train, all of a sudden on a Monday morning, this train comes in and it looks like an art show. And you're like amazed because you're seeing this incredible graffiti. Back in those days, I would walk car to car, you know, going from the, the, the last car to the first car, just walking, just looking at people and taking it all in. I looked for the fathers and the mothers and the twins and the best friends. To my left and right, everywhere was an image. Photographing on the subway was definitely an advantage for a street photographer because if I approach someone on the street and try to introduce myself, they might say, I don't have the time. But in the subway now, for the most part, it was stagnant where you have time to engage a person. In the 80s, it was illegal to take photographs on the train. This young police officer here, you know, she was resistant, but whatever reason, I was able to break that ice. I know when I approached her, I probably took a deep breath. She could have said, yes, no, or well, I'm gonna arrest you, but she gave it to me. And it was just one shot and I got it. And I think it's a really beautiful photograph. And I can't believe I did it to this day. It's very difficult to, to pinpoint one particular photograph that's really iconic to me because every photograph that I've taken is extremely close to my heart. There's one that pains me, that really informed my mission that nobody really knows about. I remember I was getting on the train in the Brownsville section of Brooklyn one day, and uh, I'm about to go up the stairs, and there's these young kids horse playing to my left. I made eye contact with this young boy who's behind the bars, and, and he's looking at me, and it looks like he's in jail. It was something about this kid's eyes. He looked at me almost to say, help me. And I call the picture, help me. I would never see him again. But I often thought about that moment. And I thought about the countless young boys who are in a similar situation that are trying to escape the hardships of the street. Should've got off the train and went back to him. But I never did that. Fashion plays a major role in a lot of my work. The fashion scene in the 1980s is very unique. Every location had their own really unique style, and it told you a lot about who the people were. And it wasn't really about uh, uh, name labels. It was just about being color coordinated and just looking good and feeling good about yourself. Back in those days, you had to have a fresh haircut before you went out. You know, your nails was done, your sneakers. I mean, these guys were so into being clean, they would carry a toothbrush in their back pocket to make sure that their sneakers were clean in case some dirt got on them. The fly girl is, is that alpha female who got swag and style and confidence. She might wear the big earrings, she got the fresh hairdo, her nails is done. Before she steps out the house, she's 100%. That was all a part of your persona back then, especially in a time when people weren't driving. You know, so your, your presentation now was yourself. When I think about black joy, I go back to the 80s. It was all around me, everywhere I went, it, it, it was just there. Another very important photograph of mine, it's a black and white image. It's a spontaneous moment. It's a couple that's in love with each other. And as I stated earlier, I look for love. And I look in front of me and I and I, I see this couple. And I'm, I'm anticipating a moment. I lift my camera and boom, they kiss each other. And I was just praying I got it right because I wasn't expecting them doing any shooting like that. The bars is there producing like almost like a, an obstacle but I was able to lift it and get it right and just get that one frame before she departed. 
revisiting the photograph of the three young guys on the train. It's an afternoon and the trains are quite empty because it's after the rush hour. I'm traveling car to car now, looking for subject matter. As I'm looking at them, I'm making sure my camera's set right. I'm looking at the light. I'm setting up everything in my head before I approach them. So when I roll up to the, to the young brothers, I recognize their greatness. I'm introducing myself and we're speaking about life and the importance of, of education and the future and things of that nature. Because when I look back at the young kid behind the bars, you know, who I didn't reach, it was more important to get the, to have a relationship than to get the photograph. The photograph became evidence of the conversations. In this time of COVID and, and, and social distancing and mask wearing, I'm using my work as a reminder of how life was before COVID. You know, I want people to see joy and communications and connection, something we don't really see now. I want to show the world that this is the African American community and this is how we live. And unlike what you might have heard, there are problems, but I want to show you another side.